So continuing to flush this idea out, this is the entire code, pause it and copy it as you can see. But one of the things I've done is now I've invoked that super keyword. Again, notice it has to be the first thing on the list. If I don't have it as the first thing here, when I try and do my compiling, when I try and do Java C student, student, when I try and do this, error, it's gonna yell at me. That super has to be, even the error says it, must call super, call to super, must be first statement in the constructor. That's just to pass that along because again, if we think about it, I'm creating something that is an extension, an extension of a person. Now you might notice a, a few other things going on here. Uh, that I happen to have my student class and then my person class in the same file. This is known as chaining classes. I know, chaining. What we're doing is we're basically saying, all right, well, you know, I don't need to make all these different files. Let me just put them in one file. And that's what I'm doing. It's now person is available, but it's just from student. So it would be by extension in the student file. So when I do my compiling, it still gets compiled correctly and everything. It's just, it's here now. It's here now. So again, notice. I've passed on my parameters, I've given everything out that I have to, all of the things that I need to do inside the parent class, the name, address, phone, email, those get passed along via the super command. Now what happens is then I do my this ID balance courses, I still do those here. Now once again I said that I have access to things like this get name, that's public uh, publicly available to me even though I'm a student because I once again have inherited this ability from the parent class and so here's a little test file I wrote up just uh, to see that I've made for example uh, some classes an array of classes and I made a student uh, student Adam at 123 Road his phone number is 910-867-5309 Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, his email is aguida at cfcc.edu. His student ID number is 0375036. I don't have a balance. I've paid off my student loans here, so that's good. And I have those classes. Those are my classes. Now, notice that line six. S dot get name. What I'm saying is this get name, I didn't create that in the student class anywhere. This is the student class. If I shrink this down, it's not in there. It's inside the person class. So what's gonna happen? Well, if we in turn, let me just show that I can compile up my student class without an error now that I've put the super on the top and now if I come over here to my test file I have access to my student file because both of these are in the same directory remember they have to be in the same directory boom notice how it's there I've created the student when I run this Java test file as soon as I hit enter notice what appears Adam because that is this student's name and this student this student inherits the ability to do get name from its parent class its super class person